AI Dungeon 2D used to be a collection of AI-generated pixel art that got randomly inserted into your text adventure based on some sort of word association. This week, Stable Diffusion went open source, and the team behind AI Dungeon integrated it beautifully. Up until now, AI Dungeon had three actions you could take. In essence, it's a pretty simple game. You could write a bit of story, and one of AI Dungeon's models would continue that story with a bit of AI-generated text. You can also type in something to do, and the AI will tell you what happens next. Lastly, you can type in something to say, and the AI could say something back. Well now, there is a fourth option. You can type in something you want to see. And on the fly, in a few seconds, AI Dungeon runs a version of the brand new image generation model, Stable Diffusion, generating beautiful images every time. When I asked you all what you wanted to see for my 1,000 subscriber special, overwhelmingly you voted for a well-edited AI Dungeon story. As the days went by, my subscribers kept going up, and the pressure kept building for this video to be a home run. Luckily, the timing worked out, and this was the perfect week. With Stable Diffusion hitting AI Dungeon servers, I can bring you a story that isn't just fun and entertaining, but is also beautiful. I did toss a bit of art from Mid Journey's beta that was live for about a day, but whenever you see something like this, the art is from Stable Diffusion, and you can get it playing AI Dungeon. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You are Firefall, the all-powerful trickster god who has traveled to Earth in human form to see how much chaos you can cause without being noticed. You step off your magical stairwell made of fire, and notice the small town you just entered is almost at peace. That just can't be allowed to continue, you think to yourself. You step into the tavern for a moment and see a family celebrating a reunion of old loved ones. Well, I'll have some fun with this, you say aloud. Quickly, you turn yourself into a man in black and walk up to the family celebrating. I'm sorry to interrupt, you say, but outside I saw a terrible monster with long fangs covered in an inky black goo. I was hoping someone in here would be brave enough to help defend the town. As you walk into the tavern, you notice that Everyone is staring at you as if you are an insane man. So, you summon an illusion of the monster you described using your god powers to make it appear in the window. What was that? says the father. I couldn't see it clearly, but I saw a large monster coming from outside. It must have been an ogre or something, he says. Yes, I'm sure it was. You say, please won't someone volunteer to help? I'm far too old and frail to be fighting such a monster. I will go. I will help, says the father. I'm George, by the way. Thank you, George. You are a true hero of the town of Haven. You wait a few moments until George is about to step outside, and then summon the most terrifying sounds in the universe to enter the tavern as if coming from all directions. Suddenly, a loud scream comes from the back of the room. Oh my god! You say, I must be going now, and then disappear into a puff of smoke, leaving everyone in the tavern mortified. That was fun, you say, as you watch the dust settle. I wonder what other tricks I can play on these people. You black out the sun, causing the first eclipse these people have ever seen. There will be no sleep tonight, you think to yourself. It will be an interesting night. You raise an army of undead soldiers to march in this everlasting night. This will be interesting, you think to yourself. Now what? You transform into an elderly lady and ask a group of people for protection. Oh, hello there, you say to a group of soldiers pa passing by. I'm lost and scared. Can you help me? Help you, they say in horror. Who are you? Where do you come from? I am Miss Weatherby. I live in a cottage in the woods, you lie, pointing, you continue. I got chased from my home by that horde of skeletons. 
Skeletons, asked one of the soldiers. Yes, you say. They came into my house and attacked me. I fell and hit my head, and now I am terribly hurt. Please, please help me. We will see what we can do, the soldiers say, and they start beating the skeletons to death. Oh, thank you, you cry. You are so kind. You use your powers to make it so that when one of the skeletons breaks, the pieces turn into even more living skeletons. They're trying to kill me, you scream. Get me out of here. We will take her to a healer, says one of the men. You say, I cannot walk. You need to carry me. Yes, of course, says the soldier as he picks you up. Thank you so much. Don't be silly, says the soldier. Now, let me get you to a healer. You have a horde of now tiny, misshapen skeletons continue to chase you and the soldiers as they carry you to the healer. Run away, you scream, stop! The soldiers turn around and begin to smash the skeletons with his mace. Thank you, you whisper. I'll never be able to repay you. You pull out an incredibly strange gift and say, Maybe this will be a good start. What is it? Asks the soldier. You smile and say, It's a jar of pickled eyeballs. The soldier drops you in surprise. How did you... I don't know, you say. I just suddenly felt like giving it to you. Really? Says the soldier. Thank you. You look at the man and in a very serious tone say, Never open the jar. Why? He asks. Just, you say, don't ask me. The soldier nods. I understand that you secretly summon another skeleton to surprise the man and smash the jar. The soldier screams and drops you. My eyes, he cries, help me please, I'm blind. You say, oh, I didn't think I had to explain. Those eyes were your eyes and the eyes of all your friends. You should have protected them better. What have you done, screams the man. How could you do this to me? I can't help it, you say. It's my curse. Curse, screams the man. As he asks this, you once again disappear into the night. You find new people to mess with. I wonder who my next victim will be, you wonder. As you wander through the town, you notice the eclipse ends. So you make all the crops in the area allergic to the sun. This will sure make life hard on them, you say to yourself. Soon, people are all dying of horrible crop-related diseases. Why can't they learn not to eat the foods they're allergic to? You wonder to yourself. Then you notice someone walking up to you. Hello there, he says. I'm new to town. What's your name? You pretend to be the mayor, since he won't know either way. Well, I am Mayor Jones, you say. What brings you here? My name is Norwin, says the man. I'm a traveling merchant. You look at him quizzically and then ask, ah, What do you sell? I sell, says Norwin, things like salt, pepper, and pickled eyeballs. You say, you should know, spices of any kind are banned from this town. Ever since the incident. You are free to sell pickled body parts of any kind, though. Actually, I would pay handsomely for some eyeballs right now. Oh, yes, says Norwin. I found some that were in pretty good condition. You take out the eyeballs and immediately begin snacking on them. You are trying your very best to creep Norwin out. What? Why are you eating? He begins. Don't ask, you say. It isn't polite. Uh, uh, okay, he stutters. You compliment Norwin's eyes, implying that you would be totally willing to eat his next. You have beautiful eyes, you say. 
They would make a really delicious snack. Oh no! Norwin shrieks. You laugh maniacally as he runs away. Oh god, he cries. He's going to kill me! Go to the town guard, says Norwin. Tell them Mayor Jones is insane! You eat another eyeball while you wait for Norwin to find out that Mayor Jones doesn't exist. Then, when you know he's looking over at you, suddenly turn invisible and make them think he's gone insane. I heard what you said, he yells, and I can't stop you, but I can make sure the town hears your crazy thoughts. I will make sure everyone knows that you... He stares at the spot where you just vanished. Hey, where'd he go? You move on and pick your next victim. This time, you think you'll curse an innocent person into setting everything they touch on fire. Excuse me, says a woman, but do you know where I can find the library? It's on the north side of town, you answer. Thanks, she says. What was that? she asks. You had just sprinkled some evil-looking powder over her head. I said, you say, that it is on the north side of town. Oh, she answers. Th thanks? You say, oh, one more thing. I have just cursed you. Everything you touch will now catch fire. The woman freaks out. What have you done to me? I said, you say, I have cursed you. Y you are crazy, the woman screams. When she tries to leave, she touches the door, and it immediately bursts into flame. See? She screams. I am going to burn this whole town down! The curse seems to have also made her immune to fire, which only made it worse. As she wandered around the town trying to get help or some kind of cure, she was destroying the village as she went. I told you it was a curse, you whisper. The town soon had to hire some guards just to stop the woman from burning everything down. But any time they approached her, she burned them up. This is never going to end, you say. Never is a long time. <laughs> and with that, you create another staircase of fire and walk back up into the heavens. As you escape, the town you left has completely turned to ash. The woman still wanders around, setting things on fire. Those idiots, you sigh. They deserve what they get. It's way too late at night, and I just finished editing that, but... Thank you guys so much for watching. This was my 1,000 subscriber special, and I am so glad to be able to make that and to be monetized on YouTube. What an amazing feeling. When I came up with the idea to do a special, I posted a poll to my YouTube audience and offered a few ideas of what I'd do. I offered a q and A. I I offered a showcase of my favorite AI-generated art, this story, and a face reveal. I think this was also a showcase of AI-generated art. I think this can also be a face reveal. Hi, I'm Glibitry. Welcome. I am so glad to meet you. And lastly, I wanted to give you guys a chance to do a Q&A. So any comments you do in the comments down below, I will answer them. No matter how many views this gets for, as long as I can do it, I will answer every single question you guys ask. Let me know uh, what you wanna know and I will answer them. Before we close off this video, I just want to do the YouTuber thing and get you to follow some other socials. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a TikTok, all under the name Glibitry, and I would be so grateful if you guys would click follow on those as well. Beyond that, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.